Hello all. In this tutorial, let us discuss about the most important and powerful algorithm KNN. KNN is nothing but K nearest neighbor, which is basically a supervised machine learning algorithm. So when to use KNN algorithm? We can use it in both the cases of regression and also classification. So let us say here there is a query point. I want to figure it out whether this query point falls under class A or class B. So what we are supposed to choose here is, as the name suggests, it is K nearest neighbors. So we need to decide the value of K. For example, K is equal to 3. What does that mean? The number of nearest neighbors is 3. So what happens here? The distance between the query point and this is calculated. The distance between this and this is calculated. This and this, this and this, and this and this. Likewise, the distance between these points are calculated. So once the distances are calculated, it will be sorted in ascending order. What do I mean by sorted in ascending order? The minimum distance would be placed on the top and the maximum distance would be at the bottom. If I take k equal to 3, so the minimum distance, say for example, the first minimum distance corresponds to yellow class, which is nothing but class A. And the remaining two minimum distance data points correspond to class B. So now, which is majority over here, we can see that the majority is class B. So the algorithm decides that it belongs to class B. So now the next question is that if the value of K is 6, what happens here? So now you can see yellow, right? So these four are close to this query point and two uh, class B or close to this query point. So now the majority is for class A. Now the model says that this query point falls under class A. So now there is a conclusion when K value is equal to 3, it falls under class B and when K value is equal to 6, it falls under class A. So which K value is correct, right? So this is how the algorithm actually work. And there is a method also to find out the right value of K. Now the goal is to understand how does KNN algorithm work and how to uh, do it in a mathematical way and also in a practical approach. So I have imported pandas and just because I am using uh, K neighbors algorithm from scalar.neighbor, I have imported K neighbors classifier. So once I do that, I have a data set which is named as customer data and it is an Excel data. So I'm writing pd.read underscore Excel customer.xlsx because it is an Excel file, right? So let me show you how the data set is looking like. It is a very simple data. You can see age, income, and app. Age and income are independent variables, and age app is the dependent variable. So if I give any query point like this, it should predict whether it falls under FB or Insta, right? This is what the goal of the model, right? So what am I doing now? features I have taken uh, both the independent variables age and income and then in the x-axis I have taken the features and in the y-axis I have taken this dependent variable. So let me run this code then I am instantiating my model so like a k is equal to 3, k is equal to 6, two examples we have already seen right. 
so i have taken number of neighbors as three you can also try with the two or four right so i have taken it as three let's see then i am fitting the model now right so once i fit the model my model is done successfully now i want to predict okay when i have some other data how my model is going to predict so i have taken pd dot read underscore excel and this i have taken a new data set where i have age income and app so age is this income is this and the app is app uses insta likewise then age is this income is this the app uses fb so what i am going to do now i am going to make knn model and i need to predict it okay i need to predict it and let us compare whether the prediction is correct or not right so what i have done i have another a data set where i have only this information you can give any number of data there right so now i just want to add another column pred underscore app which means that predicted data and i want to predict for this particular data set with this input variable so let's see now so now you can see that uh, actually uh, according to my data set also it is insta and my model is also predicting that as insta likewise the second one is fb and my model is also predicting it as fb now the question is that how is this working right so we need to understand that what is the number of neighbors i have taken k is equal to 3 so now i was telling you a point that the distance is calculated between this 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 and all these right so how the distance is calculated right so we need to understand that so let me explain it with the help of a pen okay so to understand this concept first you need to have an idea of euclidean distance right so what is meant by euclidean distance how is it calculated which is nothing but square root of x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square right so what is the test point over here let me take that 25 and 25 right so first i am doing for the first one 25 and 25 so let me calculate the distance between that first test data and also this one perfect so let me do it now square root of so i'm doing for the first one so 25 minus this one right so 21 the whole square plus 25 minus 10 the whole square right so which is nothing but root of 4 the whole square which is equal to 16 plus this would be 225 so root of 241 so you can see that this is for fb right okay let it be so the second one likewise root of 25 minus 22 the whole square plus 25 minus 12 the whole square which is equal to so 3 square which would be 9 plus 169 which is equal to root of 178 so the third one root 25 minus 23 square right so 2 square so which would be equal to 4 plus 25 minus 15 which is nothing but 10 so 100 which is equal to root of yeah so let us now do for fourth one right 
let us now do for fourth one root of 25 minus 24 so that would be 1 25 minus 15 exactly it is 100 so root of 101 the last one root of 25 minus 25 the whole square which would be 0 25 minus 20 the whole square which would be 25 right so we get like root of 25 so first the distance between the a uh, prediction data point or the test point or the query point and all the observations are been calculated what is the next step it should be sorted right so let us now sort it down right so let me sort it so i could see that the minimum is right so let me change the color so the minimum 25101 uh, 178241 right so the minimum is root 25 the next one is square root of 101 root of 104 root of 178 Which is root of two hundred and forty-one. The first one twenty-five is nothing but the last data point, which says that in stuff. And this hundred and one is the fourth one. Again, here you can see that it is in stuff. The third one is again hundred and four. That is the third one. You can see in stuff. And the next one is actually F B and E S B. So whether I take three neighbors or two neighbors, three neighbors in the sense these three would be taken. You can see that the majority classes actually in star graph, right? So what will I get here? The output would be in star. So let us now check it. can you see that the output is in star right likewise you can also try for the second data 20 and 9 and let me know whether you are getting the same as fp i hope the concept is clear to everyone thank you